Cup. And they're off. Three years later, and Dermot Weld attempted something even more astonishing an assault on Australia's Melbourne Cup. These were pioneering days for European runners in Australia's most competitive race, and running in the Southern Hemisphere was far tougher than the East Coast of America. Frontier Boy raced up to TRK Nick. They're in search of the home turn, and two lengths further back is the Phantom. Further back in the field is Fra Hardridden. Then Drum Taps under some pressure. Morak is over on the fence when they sweep into the straight now. Tennessee Jack with a run and now Pompey out wider. T.R. Kownick turned in front of Frontier Boy. Two lengths. Morakis third. Then came Fra. Fared the Phantom down the outside. Followed by Vintage Crop coming with a run now. And Tennessee Jack on the outside. T.R. Kownick still in front at the 300. Led Frontier Boy a length and a half further back. Vintage Crop he's coming home. The Irish Galloper. T.R. Kownick is in front of Frontier Boy. Vintage Crop is a danger. And great Vintage is late. T.R. Kownick but Vintage Crop has got him. Vintage Vintage Crop, the Irish horse will win the Melbourne Cup. Vintage Crop, two links to Yarkow, Nick just held second. Mercator flashed up for third. Dermot, well, how Vintage confident were you going into the race? I was quietly confident. When the two inches of rain came last night, I was concerned. The horse did lose seven kilos travelling out here, which is considerable, but he put it back on, and on Sunday morning when he worked, I was very pleased with him.